Palava, my name is Fungono Karl Pulotu Enderman. I'm here on behalf of my uh, colleague, uh, Leocho Dr. Lisi Kalisi Peteya. We're both Kala's partners. We're specialists in uh, mental health and well being. And we're doing a workshop for Tao Manino Trust. And what we found is that really partly it's to, we want to take our program to demystify about you know uh, things people believe about mental health but the best is to come out in the community but also with working with Tao Manino uh, trust staff and uh, really to do really to say that uh, to talk about mental health and well-being and how it affects the person and how it affects their family but also their community and then uh, and we're also introducing our model of uh, care which is the Kaarisi model and it's a follow-up of a model that I developed in the 1980s called the Fonofale model. The Kaarisi model is basically a tool for people to use. So if you have an issue, a mental health issue or a personal issue or a work issue or a professional issue, how this tool or this model will help you solve that. So it's really the Kalisi is like the implementation and uh, the, the, the next step up from the Fonofale model. Well, mental health is one of the major big issues in this country and actually globally. It's one of the big uh, uh, beasts of burden really and that's mental health. If you overlay that with uh, the current situation of the COVID pandemic, also the climate change, then what you're going to find is that there's a lot more issues in relation to mental health. For instance, during the pandemic, a lot of people were quite uh, distressed. Distressed, you know, and out of the building, naturally because of the stress of being in lockdown, you know, in a very enclosed uh, environment. But after the, all things were lifted, you know, they got well. Other people didn't get well. So for our perspective, and uh, Leota and I work in mental health, I'm a psychiatric nurse, I also work in the mental health for the last 50 years, you know, and particularly in Pacific, we work, particularly work with Pacific, it's that our concerns is that there are a number of features for Pacific in mental health. One of them is the late presentation of people with mental illness. So what we're hoping to do is actually going out to the community, out to the non-government organisation and to services in the community to educate our families, our communities about early detection of mental uh, health issues, you know, il uh, early uh, intervention, what you do once you can identify that, in the hope of preventing people from developing to full-blown mental illness. Now the services, unfortunately, are not... Uh, geared to cater for Pacific Health's cultural and other needs. And so most of our people, because of also other issues like late presentation, they end up being in prisons and forensic units. Leota, my colleague, her specialty is a consultant psychiatrist, and her specialty is forensics. So, and most of those are Maori and Pacific. So this environment, to us, is conducive. So rather than being at the bottom of the cliff, we're hoping to work particularly with mothers, teachers, community leaders, particularly mothers and the women of Pacific, because they are the centre of every Pacific family, to, work, to sort of educate them or to share with them our knowledge so that they can help their own family and their own communities. Mental health is part of health. It's part of living. It's actually how to navigate that or how to deal with help. It's not something out there. It's part and parcel of living. You know, it's, uh, uh, and also that you can't just talk about well-being without talking about distress and mental illness. Because it comes, because for some people it goes into distress and mental illness. So it's part and parcel of it. And the real uh, solution to that is how to manage that. Oh,